Hi, I'm with uh, Josh Hanna today from the Hopkins High School. He's the assistant principal, and uh, he's going to tell us all about Top of the Hill. What is Top of the Hill? Uh, well, thanks for asking the question, Mike. Top of the Hill is a program that will do two things. Uh, one, it'll honor alumnus uh, from Hopkinton High School who have gone on to reach the pinnacle of their chosen professions. Okay. Uh, whether that be in uh, different uh, worlds of business or the arts, or perhaps it was that they were exceptional in volunteerism in their particular communities. Uh, these students, uh, former students, will be invited back to the school to interact with our current students in an effort to hopefully inspire who we have now as students to what they may be able to become or what they can inspire to be as the years go on. So this isn't just going to be, oh, here's an award and now you're on a list. They're actually going to participate throughout the year. Yeah, they'll come in. Uh, we'll have it the week before Thanksgiving. We'll invite the uh, recipients in for an afternoon with some lunch. We'll try to pair them up with like-minded students. Perhaps it'll be in an industry or it'll vary year to year depending upon who uh, ends up receiving the honor. And then that evening we'll have some form of an awards uh, banquet uh, sponsored by the Hopkinton Education Foundation and the Hopkinton Parent Teachers Association as a way to publicly celebrate their accomplishments and create a stronger alumni network at the high school. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Who came up with this idea? So it was a joint effort with the 300th uh, anniversary group from the town of Hopkinton, the HEF, HPTA, and myself. And frankly, I took the model from Natick High School, where I've been working the last 15 years or so. They had this program uh, very well established dating back into the late 1960s. And as an employee of that school, I always felt like that was one of the most special days of the year where the students could see folks that sat in their seats and places that they rose to. Oftentimes, I don't feel as though students give themselves enough credit in terms of where they can be. And I feel like this program will bring to light some of the potentials that they have. Oh, that's great. So when, when does this process take place? How does it work? So we just launched the nomination form uh, through social media, and we're putting out some uh, hard copies at the library and the senior center uh, and such. But we're going to have a time between now and the end of April where we'll be accepting nominations. Uh, we'll then be stopping to kind of go over who was nominated in a process in June where we pick our four to five class members, and we'll reach out to those folks uh, during the early parts of July to make sure that they have some time in their schedule that they could participate with the program. But this will be a yearly endeavor, so we're expecting to receive a number of nominations this year, all of which won't likely be in that first class because right. we're trying to limit it to four or five people. Sure, add keep them it to manageable, the list and keep it going. And then we'll keep it going. And, yeah. and obviously, as the town of Hopkinton's grown, especially in the last 20 years, we'll be able to see many more applicants uh, as the years continue to wear on. So right now, how can somebody nominate someone? So there's two methods, the easiest of which is an online method, which you can link to off your web page and will make readily available as often as possible through emails and Facebook and Twitter and all the various ways in which we gain information. You can certainly email me at the high school. I'll be happy to share the link to you. Uh, but we're also making hard copies that'll be uh, found in around common town areas where you can write and then old style mail it in. Uh, but either way, we'll be compiling the list of all the nominees, people who have done great things and are worthy of recognition at the high school. Uh, the award winners will eventually have their names put on an outstanding plaque that's being designed right now with the help of our art department head. And uh, we're working with some local vendors to try to make it really special, prominently placed in the school, so that as you revisit and come back to the building, you'd be able to see that there, as well as the students regularly checking in and seeing where past graduates have gone. What do you think the... Uh long-term effect is going to be from this program? I guess uh, one area that I'm excited about is showcasing the strengths of our school system. This is the foundation for which all these great people have done, gone on to do wonderful things. We, we know we have a strong school, but this will help uh, promote that even more. Obviously, creating a stronger alumni network is never a bad thing. It's something the schools overall, most public schools struggle to do, and I think that this program will help create a stronger connection where people have the ability to check in with their old school and perhaps participate in continues to growing of our own school. And finally, and most importantly, and this is the part that I feel like is why I'm willing to put forth the effort, why HPTA and, and HEF are excited as well, it really gives the students a concrete example of who they may be able to become. Uh, in this kind of complicated world we live in, sometimes we get lost in what might be our life. And I feel like uh, we'll, we'll have some great examples uh, to share with the students and so that they can be inspired and maybe some connections could be made. Fantastic. That's wonderful and I wish you the best of luck. I think this program is going to take off 
and uh, and really go places. We're really excited about it, Mike. We know we have yeah. a great town, and people have gone on to do wonderful things. We're hoping to capture them and share them out. Fantastic. Thanks for coming by again. Thanks a lot, Mike. All right. Tom, take it back to you.